Hello, my name is Silver Willoway, and welcome to Top 10 Ugliest Dragons from the How to Train Your Dragon universe. Remember, this is just one opinion out of many, and your view on these dragons may or may not be entirely different. If you think every single dragon is beautiful, that's perfectly valid too. This list is just for fun, it's not to be taken too seriously. I will not be including hyper dragons on this list, because they would entirely dominate it if I did, since most of them look quite unfortunate. Again, this is just my opinion, so without further ado, let's get to it. Number 10, Snow Wraith. While this dragon has a streamlined and somewhat realistic design, its ridiculous head and awkwardly shaped wings brings its appearance down drastically. The Heart Stranger dragons have a tendency to have enormous chins and jaws, and the Snow Wraith is no different. On top of the oversized jaw, it has a spike on its chin that looks like a pole's been shot through since it emerges on top of its snout as well. A horn that appears to have been cut off, but it grows quite naturally that way, since every member of the species have it like that. The dragon's perfectly circular nostrils gives it an unnatural feeling as well. Same goes for its teeth and its incredibly sharp angled wings. Several of its features, including the before mentioned and the eyebrows above its eyes, gives it a plastic-like or artificial quality, which isn't all too appealing. A unique design for sure, but not a pretty one. Number 9. Thunder Drum. Teeth and way too many of them. The Thunder Drum has an interesting design, but its massive mouth and extremely tiny legs ultimately ruin the dragon for me. The teeth of this dragon are so long and protruding, that they are blocking the dragon's eyesight when its mouth is closed. Its limbs are so small, there is no way it would be able to support a massive dragon like the Thunder Drum, making it look very ridiculous when it walks around, especially because of its wide body, which makes the tiny legs even more silly. Its eyes are bulging out at the very front of its head, making its giant mouth seem even more gigantic, which adds to the ridiculous nature of this dragon. Its colors and patterns are beautiful, but with a face like that, it's not entirely enough to fix this dragon's appearance. Number 8. Grunkle. The Grunkle are one of those dragons that have been around since the very beginning, which almost makes you forget just how ugly it is, because it's so familiar. But it is indeed very ugly. Oversized chin, bulging eyes, really close together at the very top of its head, making the mouth and jaw appear even larger. It has bumps all over its body, looking like small tumors, not to mention its overly lumpy body. And number seven, Catastrophic Quaken. Do I need to say anything with this one? To me, the Quaken looks like a turd with spikes and wings. Once again, we have a dragon with an absolutely massive chin, and on top of that, the Quaken has a split jaw, making its chin look kinda like a scrotum. Its face is completely flat, and its nostrils are also its eyebrows. Nothing can redeem this dragon. It's the pure embodiment of hideous. Number 6. Eruptodon. The Eruptodon is a very lumpy looking dragon. Its body is very compact, it looks like it's been squished together. Its arms nearly touching its thighs when it's in a relaxed position. Massive head and, you guessed it, massive chin again for no apparent reason. Its eyes are bulging out of its skull in a closed socket, only having an extremely small eyeball peeking out. The dragon's got very big boulders on its wings, butchering any chance of aerodynamic capabilities this dragon had. His boulder-like skin make him appear like a toy glued together by a child. The proportions on this guy are off, rendering him quite the ugly sight. Number 5. Thunderpeed. This dragon is a demon. It sticks out like a sore thumb from the entire dragon dossier. 
looking more like the design of a Pokemon or a Digimon rather than a How to Train Your Dragon Dragon. It has arms, as in human-like arms, followed by not two or four, but six legs. It has the body of a slug with a teeny tiny pair of wings. It is so uncanny that it almost transcends from ugly to terrifying. Luckily, it has only appeared in the video games and never on the big screen. And thank the gods for that. We would all be better off forgetting about this dragon's existence altogether. Number 4. Whispering Death. The Whispering Death has without a doubt a unique design for a dragon. But that doesn't save it from the ugliness. It's basically an oversized head with a tail. Its bulging blank eyes and circular mouth gives it a very expressionless appearance. It is unable to fully close its massive mouth because it's stuffed full of teeth. It appears to be tongueless as well. Ultimately, it's the proportions that throws to the overall look of this dragon. Its big head making it look more ridiculous than scary, resulting in just a plain ugly dragon. Unique, but very ugly. Number 3. Screaming Death! The Screaming Death has some of the same problems as the Whispering Death. What makes this dragon uglier than its parent is its front-facing eyes, overly teeth-stuffed mouth, and its constantly angry expression. Also, let's not forget the oversized chin once again. To me, the Screaming Death has a constant expression that makes the dragon look quite dumb or silly at best. Again, the design is very unique, but I wish the facial features would have been executed a little bit better. Number 2. Luminous Crayfin. Sad to say that the Luminous Crayfin is one of the biggest disgraces to the How to Train Your Dragon series. This is a unique dragon exclusively to the game School of Dragons. It was supposed to be a leviathan level dragon with the same grandeur as the Bewilder Beast, but it failed miserably. The body looks like that of the Pokemon Lapras, which in itself is acceptable. It's the face that renders this dragon so hideous, you would want to bring a barf bag each time you have to gaze upon it. Oversized chin, eyes pushed way too close together and shoved deep inside as eye socket that's bulging out on top of its head. With wrinkles below them, its mouth ends out in a crevice that makes it look like the dragon have inflated cheeks. A little side information on this guy as well, as a baby the dragon is able to fly, but as it grows into a juvenile it loses its ability to fly as the wings become flippers. How cruel is that? There is nothing likable about this dragon, it's just overall really awkward to look at. Number 1. The Shell Fire. This is without a doubt the ugliest dragon I have ever seen in my life. Its wings have a really awkward shape. Like these are no way aerodynamic, I doubt this dragon can even fly, and if not then why would it have the wings to begin with? But the main problem with this dragon is its face. We have these horns that look like a Lego or Playmobil click on set that you have been pressing on, clicking these horns into the dragon's skull. They stick together on the middle. We have the nose that's like piercing up on the front of the dragon's face, but it's like its own entity in like this little spike like. But it's not really a spike because it's the same color as the rest of the dragon. Then we have the teeth, of course, way too many, massive teeth, small eyes, it's just not working out. It is the most hideous thing that has ever graced the How to Train Your Dragon universe. That was my list of the top 10 most ugly dragons, I hope I didn't offend anyone, like I said, this is just my opinion, I thought it was fun to do. I did another list of the top 10 most beautiful dragons, so I figured it'd be fun to do an ugly one as well. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you had fun with it. Let me know in the comment section if there's any dragons you think look really ugly, or if there's any that you think are beautiful, if you disagree or agree with my list, anything really, you're welcome to share it. 
thank you so much for your time today and hopefully we will meet again. So long and take care.